Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today I was doing some research on prices and I noticed that one of the scrapyards I often go to has now taken transformers and put them into three main categories based on the type of wire that is found inside of them. Transformers are an excellent source of scrappable material. They come in all different weights and sizes as well as all different types of electronics and appliances. However, they are graded differently and there is definitely a significant um, difference in price depending on the type of wire you find inside of them. All of these transformers, you're either going to get aluminum winding or copper winding. So they are a great thing to find still based on copper being as high as it is. So what I actually have in front of me are the prices of the different categories. I'm going to weigh them whole first to see how much you're going to get for the transformer. And then I am going to take out the wire, weigh that separate, price it to see what type of profit or if there is a profit by doing the work and separating the metal or leaving it as ta intact. So here we go. The first thing, the three categories, all three of these transformers did come from microwaves and the lowest category transformer, all of them have two different windings of wire and you definitely, before you bring them in, you definitely want to check to see the type of wire. All of them are either going to be aluminum and copper and unfortunately you cannot tell just from looking at it. Um, but the lowest category is this one right here. You can see it does look like copper, but once I take a file and scratch it, it reveals a metallic look underneath. So that means this one is uh, aluminum. On the other side, I've already opened this paper. I've scratched it. This too is aluminum. And this right now at the scrapyards is aluminum, aluminum, category one. And this is going for seven cents a pound Canadian. So I have a scale behind me here. This actually weighs 10 pounds as is. So I'm going to get about 70 cents a pound for this. The next category you see right here is going to be two strands. I've already opened it. I've scratched them. They can see different colors. There is my metallic color there. So this is aluminum. This one, however, once I scratch it, you can see that that is copper. So copper aluminum transformers, and these are currently going for 38 cents a pound. So my scale behind me, I have right here. So this as is would have given me nine pounds, eight ounces. So almost $3 and 80 cents for this one. This large transformer here came out of a larger microwave. And this is my mother load. This has two copper strands. So scratched it. There is copper. Just pull that to the side. You can see that that's copper. So this is your highest value copper, copper. And this currently is going for 54 cents a pound Canadian. And unfortunately the scale I have behind me only goes up to 11 pounds. This transformer actually weighs 15 pounds. So almost $7 and 50 cents for this as is. So now I'm going to actually weigh it differently. Um, and I do want to make sure I say that some people will actually now pass up on microwaves because they think that they have all been replaced with aluminum, aluminum transformers. And again, in my opinion, I've done hundreds of microwaves. I cannot tell just from curbside what type of transformers inside of it. Some of the same brands have different transformers. So it all depends on where they're made date. Um, but again, all of them are still worth money and microwaves are an excellent source of scrap of material material anyway. So, um, I do also want to say for this one here. So I got, as I said, uh, 10 pounds. So what did I say? Seven, 70 cents for this, this, I'm actually not even going to open when I get a transformer that has aluminum, aluminum, I will actually leave this hole and I will actually throw it into my tin or shred pile. And I do have someone who continues to comment on my channel saying that it is number two tin or to number two steel. And I just want to clarify again, it all depends on where you live as well as, you know, it can vary on scrapyard you go to. 
The scrapyards I go to only have two categories, tin or shred or steel. In order for it to be classified as steel, the material has to be thicker than a quarter inch. And it usually pertains to structural beams like uh, trampoline poles and other thicker items. This, even though this looks like a solid piece, because these are all individual plates, it is not going to be solid and I will get tin shred. And just to back that up, I do have a few of my tickets from my scrapyard just to show you that, you know, the name price on it. So there was 394 pounds shred. Here's another one here. This one was tin. Again, this one gave me 423 pounds. Okay, so it depends on the person writing the ticket. But there too is shred right there at 360 pounds. Okay, so again, there's shred as well. There's another one. So different tickets at the scrapyard I go to. It depends on where you live. So I get shred price for this. And right now, where I go, tin or shred is going for 10 to 12 cents a pound. So even if I got 10 cents a pound for this, I'm going to get more money bringing it in as is in my tin pile. Um, so as I said, I'm going to get a dollar for this compared to 70 cents and not doing anything with it. So the other thing, the aluminum windings inside of it, just to weigh them, they weigh very little. This is actually only 11 ounces for two aluminum windings. Uh, it is painted or dirty aluminum, so I'm only going to get a couple cents for this anyway. So again, in my opinion, it is not worth the angle grinder or the work. I get more money from tin. So leaving this tin shred, I'm getting, as I said, a dollar for this compared to 70 cents. The second one I have here, I've already opened it. And uh, I opened this on a previous video. I do, when I do transformers, I like to actually use an angle grinder. I will grind down the weld. I will open it. So here too, again, this is going to be tin shred because they're individual plates. Um, but again, right here alone, just from this shell, I have, I have eight pounds here. So I'm still going to get 80 cents for this. And the copper that I have here, this copper, and I do want to say as well, this copper, all transformer copper and motor copper is going to give me number two copper. And currently right now in London, Ontario, it is going for $3.36 a pound. It has gone down about almost a dollar in the last couple weeks. But the reason this is classified as number two copper, the first reason is any wire, in order for it to be classified as number one or bare bright, has to be thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. And obviously these individual strands are not that. The other reason this is number two is because number two has tape on it, glue, oil from motors like uh, compressor motors uh, and any other type of debris on it. So all of this is number two and I'm just going to weigh this for you right here. So put this on. This weighs 15 ounces, so almost a pound, so almost $3.36 for this. So definitely worth more than bringing it in and getting the 38 cents a pound for that uh, because I still have the 80 cents from the metal here and the, th and the $3.36 from this. So that is definitely great. The last transformer here that I'm going to look at, and I do want to say a shout out to some of my viewers that suggested uh, instead of opening it with the weld, um, just use an angle grinder, cut through the copper and then pop it out with a punch. I do appreciate the comments and feedback. I love sharing knowledge with the scrapping community. I did actually try it with this one. However, I think because of the size of this and the size of my angle grinder, it was actually very difficult to get the windings out of this. So probably would work for a transformer this size, but for me, given the size of this and my tools, it is gonna be very difficult to um, extract this copper just by uh, using a punch uh, to pop it out. So I am gonna use my method, but again, I have tried it, it does work. Uh, but it did not work on this one given the size of this. So for this one, I'm going to revert back to my um, style. I'm actually just going to take my angle grinder and I'm going to make an incision right down there 
And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take my file. Once I open that, this is gonna pop off once I use a punch. So I'm gonna do that right now, just to get out this copper. Uh, word of caution, if you are using an angle grinder for it, I noticed anytime you use an angle grinder with copper, it does um, give you some copper dust. So you definitely wanna make sure that you either uh, definitely wear eyeglasses anytime, but I will use a type of uh, catch basin and I will catch the copper, for example, in there. You can see the dust in there and I will throw it into my number two. But this, because I'm cutting the weld, I don't wanna catch that and put it into my copper. So just gonna angle grind that off and get it out and then weigh that copper for you, show you what I can make. So here we go. Gotta make sure it is warm. I'm gonna move my scale so I don't break that. But just now gonna take this, get my hammer. I also just use a just a type of punch, if you will. Gonna put it now between the brit, hit it. Look at that. It's a lot easier for me in my opinion, but and again, it definitely depends on the person. So just gonna rock this back and forth. Actually, I don't even need to take it off. But... Just to get it out of the way. If I bend it, here you go. So as I said with you earlier, here are my individual plates. You can see they just kind of slide apart. So again, tin shred for me. But again, it all depends on where you live. So now what I'm going to do is just going to put it in again, and I'm just going to hit it out. And the other reason I like to do it this way as well is because I get nice, easy to stack these. But again, I am not criticizing anyone's method. There's definitely more ways to do anything. Um, but here we go. This is going to be my first one. And again, these transformers are huge. Look at the size of that block of copper. This is going to be great. In order to get the next one out, I do have to remove. There's a couple steel plates you see in there. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver, if you will. Just punch those out too. I use a flathead screwdriver. Here's a little bit more tin in here. Okay, so there's one plate, all tin. There we go, separate that. There's the second one. It is now, oh, it broke inside of there, so just gotta hit it again. There we go. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna do is take this out now and weigh it. I am very excited to see what this is gonna weigh out at. Punch this one out. <laughs> there we go. So, moment of truth. Here we go. How much copper from this 15 pounds? 
pound transformer. Where'd that go? Oh, there we go. So there are two hunks. So as I said, look at the thickness of these. Again, it is thicker than 16 gauge, but because it has the tape on it right here, the glue, this will not be classified as number two. So scale, hopefully this scale's probably got even gonna read it all, but there is eight pounds. So 10 pounds right here, a little bit more because I got a couple pieces. So gonna still get a dollar for this. And remember I said 750 for the whole thing. Here are my two blocks of copper. I have three pounds, six ounces. So almost three and a half pounds there. So gonna get, let's say 12, $13, $13.50 from just the copper. So definitely worth double what I did. It took me three minutes to take it apart. Definitely worth it. Your money load, as I said, the two copper spools, all gonna be number two. Got some great tin shred. And again, I also will take the smaller transformers like this, open them up because you have some nice copper in there. This as well, very easy to take these apart. I have done these, um, just open them. So if you are interested in how to check, take these apart, go check out my other videos on transformers, other small ones. Some great number two copper in here as well. This weighs, I think, 4.5 pounds. So transformers are everywhere. And this one as well would be classified as copper, uh, the highest grade because it's just copper inside of here. Uh, there is no aluminum windings. But these ones, microwaves, definitely you want to make sure you pick them up. And you definitely want to do the scratch test. And again, um, all of them are worth money. But your copper, scrapper's gold, great thing to get. Transformers, easy place to get that copper. Please comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for the comments and the support. Please uh, share, subscribe, stay well, happy scrapping. Tin Man out.